Hello again, this is Kenneth Corgan with another semi-knowledge production. Uh, in this presentation I'll be presenting flat file databases from section 3, chapter 7 of the database chapter. Alrighty. Um, for the introduction, uh, just a quick introduction into flat file databases, um, I have provided an example of one here. Um, as is evident, the data would allow us to, just like any other database, would allow us to locate the books we would like uh, in this particular one. But with a flat file database, as you can see, a lot of data is left needlessly repeated, um, such as the publisher, publisher country, and nationality, as you, as you can see, just in the publisher alone. Um, the Penguin Publisher is mentioned three times. Uh, Picador is mentioned three times. Um, in the publisher country, uh, the UK is mentioned three times. Australia three times. The US three times. Um, now I find the uh, author one to or the title to be kind of interesting because it gives a false impression of a flat file database that it may be effective, that it may be the most useful, but it is not. Um, and then finally, the nationality once again repetition. Um, and this needless re repetition, although it may seem insignificant in this scale on this one table, um, this small table, um, this needless repetition can cause several problems. And these problems, depending on the size of the uh, table, can be huge. Um, but these problems will be examined in the slides to come. Okay, so a flat file database consists of just one table for um, storing small, simple data. It is appropriate. Um, although for larger, more complicated collections of data, a flat file database simply is not appropriate and really is not suitable at all. Um, as you can see here, Zoidberg seems to think that the flat file database in front of him is not suitable for the data inside. And seems mad. Um, Zordberg likely feels this way due to the presence of redundant data. Um, redundant data is that which is needlessly rep uh, repeated. The example in this table which um, states various characteristics of these various um, animals, um, uh, the different habitats, different colors, um, we can see that uh, the different fields in these um, records are identical, are the same, are repeated, and this simply is not necessary. Um, it would be much better for um, for the design of uh, this database um, if it was stored just once um, and then uh, in different tables, as data redundancy creates problems of data integrity data inconsistency and wasted storage space. Um, but, I mean, as you can see, um, land is repeated five times in just Habitat 1, and there are many open spaces that are... Um, actually, they don't take up much space, but they still are unnecessary there. Um, so, on to redundancy problems. Um, the two issues associated with redundant data are data integrity and wasted storage space. Although data integrity can sort of be broken up into integrity and inconsistency. Um, but data integrity becomes an issue initially um, as more uh, repetition leads to a higher chance of the um, person entering data, a higher chance of them making a mistake, even just a spelling mistake, or uh, entering the data into the wrong um, record into the wrong field. Um, additionally, um, if one file needs to be changed or altered, the entire database is much be, must be searched to make the necessary changes as well. And um, this alone can lead to many problems, um, entering information twice over um, that may be different in one field as it is uh, in another. Um, and finally, uh, wasted storage space can become an issue. Um, I mean, under really with any uh, scale of the table or database, it is an issue. Um, but it only really comes into play on um, larger on larger databases, as um, redundant data can use up a lot of disk space and memory space 
on very large databases, um, but this can be easily avoided through relational databases, which I find to be the solution, um, and they ultimately are the solution. Um, although they are harder to design, they are more appropriate for big-time databases, um, and there are specialty, uh, specialists who uh, design relational databases for companies and for various situations. Um, but the key with relational databases is they are multiple. There are multiple tables, and each of the ta tables are linked in one single database. Um, and that's the key, and that's exactly what a uh, flat file database lacks. Uh, these are my sources, and thank you for watching.